JustAZ.com Productions with At Home Repairs How to Use a Power Supply Tester Have you ever had a problem with a peripheral device such as a hard drive or DVD player? You replace this device only to find that you are having the same issue. Many problems, including those with memory, motherboard, and processors, may be caused by a faulty power supply. Today, we will show you how to use a power supply tester so you can detect a faulty power supply. Before we begin, let's first familiarize ourselves with the many different types of connectors on a modern power supply. Your main power supply cable is either a 20 pin or 24 pin ATX main power cable. Some power supplies come with a 20 plus 4 ATX main power. Okay. Another cable connected to your motherboard is the 4 pin ATX 12 volt power cable. This either comes as a single 4 pin connector or you could have two 4's uh, going together making an 8 pin. A lot of uh, today's modern power supplies also have a 6-pin PCI Express power cable. Also on your power supply, you will have several connectors for peripheral devices. You will have a 4-pin connector, probably several of them, one floppy drive connector, as well as several SATA connectors. These are the connectors for your hard drive, DVDs and other peripheral devices. For this demonstration we are using a Rosewill power supply tester. There are many different brands but they pretty much all work the same way. To start with we're going to plug in the ATX main power cable. Next we'll plug in the 6 pin and then our 4 pin connection and then we turn on the power supply as you can see everything has passed it shows uh, what the voltage should be and what it's actually reading next we are going to plug in our different peripheral connector, connectors. There's a place here for the 4-pin and we have several on this power supply. And I don't know if you can see it there but the 12 volt and 5 volt lights are lighting up which is the correct voltage for a 4-pin connector. We will check each of these. Next we will check the SATA connections. You should be reading three, vol three volts, and again, I don't know if you can see it, but the three volt is lighting up. So those connections are working well. We'll check, check each of those. And we will also check the floppy drive connector. And again, we can see that that is working. Some older power supplies, like this 200 watt here, doesn't have the extra 12 volt 4 pin connection. So when you plug this one in, you initially get an error message. However, if you read what's on the LED screen, all the connections are good and recording the correct voltage. You just get an error reading because you're not getting the extra 12 volt connection. This 350 volt power supply is actually cycling between past and fail. The problem is the 3.3 volt on here is varying up and down between 3.3 and 3.7 volts, which is unacceptable for a computer and this power supply is bad. Power supply tester is a quick way to determine if your peripheral devices are receiving the proper voltage. If the test tells you a device isn't getting the voltage it needs, you will need to replace your power supply. 
Thanks for watching.